Hello Outside Lives, I'm Ali and I'm a sculpture artist. I run CuriousArty.com where you can find uh, creative workshops for children and adults. So please check out my website and social media. Uh, today we're going to carry on with the recycling theme. Uh, we're going to use up old Christmas cards, uh, a bit of Christmas wrapping paper, chocolate wrappers, um, household packaging, cereal packets, all sorts of things. And we're going to turn them into our very own recycled reindeer. And we're going to add some um, decorations at the end made from aluminium cans and bits of old Christmas card if you've got them. But don't worry if you haven't, um, we can use alternatives. So that's what we're going to make today and even really young children can help with this one. So I'm going to tell you what you need and then how to make your recycled reindeer. So the first thing you're going to need um, to make your recycled reindeer are some cereal packets or similar thickness in card and that's what we're going to make the base and um, the antlers and the face from. And I've also got some old Christmas cards um, which are really handy if you don't have some ask your neighbours or whatever. Um, but if you don't have any you can use other decoration that's fine but I'm going to use um, those and I've also got I'm using some bottle caps for um, the eyes and the nose on my reindeer uh, but again if you don't have them um, use things in the house that you've got um, I'm going to list quite a few different materials that I use in this recycled reindeer um, but don't worry if you don't have exactly the same um, the point of this is a basis for what do you have in your house what can you use to decorate with have a look around um, see what you've got in the way of colours and, and, and packaging and things like that so don't worry too much if you haven't got exactly the same thing um, it's much more fun if everybody's reindeer is um, different anyway but I've got I'm going to use um, a few bottle caps what I'm also using is um, magazines, so I've got quite a few different, um, I look through magazines for nice colours and, and um, patterns and things like that. So I'm going to use some old magazines. I've got um, for my antlers, my kind of crazy antlers, um, we've got all sorts on here. So. I've got bits of ribbon from sort of Christmas bags, Christmas packaging, um, bits of old wool, um, bits of so bits of packaging. So I've got chocolate wrappers, um, sort of plastic packaging. Have a look on both sides. You can probably use both sides. The colours are great. Make sure you wash them, um, they do get a bit stinky, so do give them a wash first, but um, they're really good materials to recycle, and especially for something like this, sort of Christmas, quite shiny, bit of bling. So have a look what kind of, um, what kind of packaging you've got. I've also got bits of, oh, bits of packaging that people have wrapped presents in, um, loads of things like that also got I have a local well it's not that local but a recycling um, shop and a reuse shop so these are the remnants of um, stars that have been cut out packaging so companies send these to the recycling shop and um, the reuse shop and they're really great as well for sticky on something like this nice and shiny and bright so I'm going to use some of those but again you know see what you've got around and um, that's half the fun um, looking for looking for suitable materials what could you use what could you experiment with so I've also got um, on here oh I'm also adding just because I like that um, these are not recycled I've got a few pom-poms I do actually have a couple from Christmas um, packaging but I like to add a couple of pom-poms as well so that's just me you add things that you like and um, I've got I always have lots of scraps of paper cut up into different shapes which are really handy to stick on things so I always keep scrap 
um, scrap coloured paper handy. And the other thing that I'm going to use is aluminium cans. Now I never actually use these but I just get them from other people. I wash them, really important. Um, and they're really good for using for lots of different things. And we're going to make some of our um, little Christmas decorations at the end from those. But if you don't have those, don't worry. Um, if you can't get hold of them at all, you know, if you've got some tin foil or, or a bit of the, the sort of shiny packaging that um, I was showing you earlier, or just old Christmas cards as well, you can make the little decorations um, from those. So do not worry. And I've also got on the back of mine, because my, my antlers are quite uh, weighty with all the things wrapped around them. So I've got a couple of supports on the back of my antlers. Um, so you need something like a couple of wooden skewers or the other thing that I use. Oh, I don't know. Oh, here we go. I've got a couple of felt pens that don't work anymore. Um, so I'm going to use those for the back of the antlers as support. So a few other things that I'm going to use, um, scraps of wool that um, people have given me or I found in second hand shops. This is a great um, lovely gold one that I got from a second hand shop. But also bits of ribbon um, that I've either left over from projects or I've got a nice Harrods one that uh, I don't know where this somebody's sewing box this came from. Bits of ribbon from um, presents, things like that. So that's handy if you've got them. Um, but again, you know, don't worry if you haven't. I'm sure you can find something else that you can use. Other things we're going to need. Um, I'm going to use my hot glue gun for this um, because um, sticking, sticking the things on, especially on the antlers and things like that, we're using non-traditional materials. They're quite shiny. They don't particularly like being stuck down. Um, so it's much easier to use the hot glue gun. You can do it with normal glue and staples kind of help in that case um, but it can get a bit frustrating for young children so I would say if you have got a hot glue gun um, really handy for this also for sticking on things like the bottle caps uh, but if you don't you can use normal glue um, I would use something like this rather than um, a glue stick uh, that's not going to be strong enough for you so that's what we need. Um, scissors. I've also got, you know, if you've got some of these funny um, curvy scissors, they are quite handy for this. And I've also got some single um, hole punches. So this one's a really small one. This one's slightly bigger. If you've got anything like that, or even a normal hole punch, um, they're handy. Again, if you don't have them, don't worry too much you can improvise with other things it's not the end of the world with this project um, and what I've also got for um, when we come to do the decorations at the end let's get rid of the hot glue gun I've got um, a biro that doesn't work anymore so I can use the nib um, but it doesn't there's no ink in there and I've also got long screw that I've put some tape around and this is quite handy for making holes as well um, and I've got a piece of corrugated cardboard waste cardboard that I'm going to use I've also got a pair of mini pliers and um, these are handy for making your decorations when you're using the tin but again if you don't have any it's not the end of the world you can you can make them out of something else okay so don't worry too much about that but if you've got those things um, go and find them now so the first thing that we need um, is a cereal packet this is quite a large box and um, if you cut it um, if you cut it apart my size of reindeer fits on about one um, side of the box obviously you can make yours whatever size you like but that's what I've done and what you want to do really simple you're kind of making it's a bit of an egg shape and um, with a flattened flattened top but that's essentially the shape that's your basic um, your reindeer um, shape so draw that out and cut that um, 
and then what I've done here is I've actually painted one um, already so I've got mine ready so you could paint it I've just used um, children's um, acrylic paint or you could find a lovely pattern that you like um, from a magazine or coloured paper and just cover it with that um, you could even if you really like recycle stuff you could keep um, you could keep it the colour of the cereal box because it's nice and bright and it's actually quite um, quite interesting um, shapes and patterns on there. But I've painted mine today to make it a little bit easier for you um, so that you can see things going on top of here. And the first thing I'm going to do is just um, position on my eyes and my nose. So obviously the reindeer, this one's got a red nose and. Um, I've got a special little cap today it says please recycle me which is um, I thought quite fitting for this project so I'm just going to hot glue go gun those on and um, if you're using normal glue and not hot glue gun you're gonna have to leave these um, leave these to dry there's never a huge problem and um, so if you're using normal glue I would glue them on Obviously, once you've prepared your your base underneath, whatever you're going to do with that, paint it or, or decorate with paper or whatever. But I'm just going to position those on so that I know um, where everything else is sort of going to go around. But yeah, if you're using normal glue, um, I'd stick them on. It would need to be quite strong glue for, for bottle caps. Um, but if you haven't got bottle caps or you don't have strong glue, you can just make... Um, you know obviously make uh, the eyes and the nose from recycled card but if you normally yeah, yeah if you're using normal glue um you've got to leave it to dry so you could um go off and find the rest of your decorations and start making all the decorations while you're waiting for that to dry but i've just got mine on there so i've got the basic um face that i want to make obviously i'm going to do whoops a lot more decoration on there but um, I'm just going to I've got the basic one first I'm going to make some little um, eye pupils there so I've just added some uh, pupils onto my eyes there and I'm just going to start um, decorating decorating my reindeer so I've got all sorts of bits here I've got old maps I've got old Christmas wrapping paper I've got some circles that I have um, punched out. I think I forgot to say earlier if you've got any hole punches this one's quite a large one a one inch one if you've got any hole punches they're really handy for doing this but don't worry if you don't you can cut things out by hand. I've also got some strips of paper that I've already um, I've already folded into zigzags so I might use some of those um, I'm just going to do a bit of cutting with our with our funny scissors um, so there is no right way of doing this I think we're just working on the basis this is not a shy retiring um, reindeer he's full of bling um, and he likes his colours oh, it's colours um, so we're just going to add lots of different decoration on here I think for this one I'm just going to use my um, normal glue so I don't need the hot glue gun for this one um, but I'm just going to add them I like creating different textures and forms The only thing I would say is just leave the bit at the top free for now um, so that we can stick the antlers and the ears on there and then you can add to those later. I've got a bit of gold paper here which is really nice. Um, I think I'm going to make some circles. So I've added some more decoration there, probably add some more as well, but um, that's fine for now. You do it as you like, of course, use your, use your own imagination. And now I'm just going to make the ears. Um, so I've got some more scrap paper. This was a bit from a, a children's book that had got drawn on, so 
memories of my childhood, a bit of Snoopy. So I folded it in half, cut two together. Um, I'm just going to trim them down a little bit, a little bit too big for what I want. And I'm just going to make a little fold at the bottom. And then keep that little bottom bit folded. And I'm going to stick those onto the back there like that. So I have stuck on my ears and I've let those dry and I'm going to do the antlers next. So I've got another piece of cereal box and this time I've sort of checked what's on the other side because I'm going to actually leave some of that. quite like the bright colour on this one. I'm actually going to leave some of that um, showing through here. So um, I'm just, what I've done is I've just drawn two freehand um, antlers on there. They're not the same, um, because I don't think antlers are the same in real life either. And it's at this point that um, we're going to need all our sort of shiny packaging, bits of wool, sort of pom-poms, um, bits of old ribbon from Christmas parcels, anything like that. So that's what we're going to use um, to decorate our antlers. And the antlers I've kind of drawn, I mean I'm really not too worried about them because we're going to cover them all up. But I've actually drawn them just slightly thinner than I possibly would if I was just going to um, paint them. And that's because we're going to wrap quite a lot of um, materials around there. So it is going to make the antlers slightly thicker than um, they would be normally. So if I've cut them out there, and I'm going to use this side, because um, I quite like the, the yellow there. And it's going to go on like this, but um, obviously we're going to... We're going to decorate it first. So we're going to start decorating um, our antlers. And to do that I'm going to use all sorts of things. So I've got um, chocolate wrappers here, both sides good to use. Um, I'm cutting strips off um, packaging here, which we're going to use. I'm going to twist these around. I've got bits of ribbon, bits of wool, all sorts of things, bits of paper. So I'm just going to start wrapping um, some pieces around my antler here. Let's put these out of the way. Um, so I think the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap some nice orange. So this is going to be the front, um, the, one, the side with the, the um, images on it. The good thing about this um, wrapper is it's very flexible and I can um, sort of wrap it around the edges, around the corners, um, around the curves. And it also doesn't matter, this is why it's really good for children, it really doesn't matter too much um, if you can see the edges because we're going to wrap lots of wool and things on top and it also doesn't matter what's happening at the back. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there just to so the back we're not going to see, um, this is going to be against the wall or, or wherever we put it. But um, I'm going to keep on adding, I think what I'm going to do here is cut that into little strips. I'm going to wrap some around here. Um, so this is where we can yeah, really go to town, um, as colourful as you like. It's a very sort of party type uh, reindeer this one. So I'm just going to start off with that and then um, what I'm going to do with these strips is actually twist it around so then we get some texture as well as some um, um, as well as the, the sort of shine and the, the different colours. Now this is a bit more tricky once we start adding this um, and this is where the hot glue gun comes in really handy and um, extra hands but also really handy. Um, I think young children would not really be able to do this by themselves or they get frustrated but if you do it as a team effort 
Um, so I've just stuck it on the back there. I'm wrapping it round. I'm just going to wrap that a bit more. And I'm sort of creating lots of texture on top of my original um, texture. I'm not doing these in any straight lines, kind of actually the opposite of straight lines. Um, but I'm just sort of going round and round. A bit of glue on the back as I go around. Right, I'm going to cross it over there just to create a bit more uh, pattern. And I've got to sort of hold it down a little bit on the end there. I'm just going to cut off that excess bit. So what I've done here, I've just added some more bits of the sort of foil which wrapped around quite easily. It's a good um, base. And I've started adding some more um, strips of different um, wrappers as well. I'm twisting them all as I go along. Um, it just creates a bit more texture rather than just putting um, putting them down flat. Um, I, I think it's, it's not so interesting. And then um, what I've been doing now, I've got these bits of ribbon. So I'd probably put a bit more of the base on, but just um, so that you can see what's happening. Uh, I'm going to, so everything I just start, I glue on the back there because it doesn't matter. We're not going to see that. So that can be as messy as you like. I'm just going to glue that down. And then once it's glued down, I'm going to wrap um, some ribbon around this antler as well. Well, that's essentially what I'm going to do all the way around. I've got my base of um, recycled packaging that I've put on top of the um, antler and then, oh, you see that one needs a bit longer to dry. And then I'm adding ribbon, I'm adding uh, twisted um, strips of, of packaging for the colour and the, and the shape and I'm adding bits of wool. So I'm going to just carry on doing that all the way um, along there. So I have... Um, covered my antler. Normally I would spend quite a bit longer doing this but you get the idea we've got ribbons on there, wool, um, bits of um, bits of strips of packaging that have twisted around, have twisted the ribbons to give it more texture so it's not just flat. And I'm just going to finish it off as much as I'm going to do now. Um, I've got my single hole punch here and I like putting a few holes in just to Give it some different shapes in there as well. Put a few holes in. And I'm just going to add a few pom-poms just to finish it off there. So that's my antler. Um, obviously you can decorate it. Oof, use your imagination, decorate it how you like. Um, but that's how we're gonna, I'm going to do my antler to stick on the top of there. So I've got um, both my antlers now. So I'm going to attach the second one. And as I said before, they end up quite heavy these because of all the um, kind of crazy bling that's, um, that's getting stuck on them. So I need to put on quite a bit um, of glue. And then what I'm also going to do at the back here is this thing. I'm just going to just going to aid them a little bit with some extra support. I'm going to use this um, pen that's not working and fix that on fairly well with quite a lot of glue at the back there, um, just to give that a bit of support. And then it's quite solid. And I'm just going to do the same with the other one. I'm just going to make sure 
gluing that on really well. Uh, that's just going to help my antlers um, stay upright. <laughs> 